Hello, I'm Chris Swaffer, Product Manager for Notion here at Presonus. This quick start video focuses on Notion's text features, including basic text, font choice, lyrics, and chords. To insert a text indication in your score, go to the text icon on the palette and select it, or use the shortcut K. Type your text and press Enter or click away from the box. You can now select this to change the font and size of the text you just entered. Double click to edit your entered text. You can add rehearsal marks into your score. If you start with letters or numbers, then Notion will automatically add the next one in the sequence. You can also use anything as a rehearsal mark, for example, songs or acts in a musical, to easily navigate around a long show file. For lyrics, select the lyric tool or L. Click under the note you wish to start and type away. The spacebar will automatically advance to the next note. You can use a hyphen before the spacebar to add syllables, and also add extension lines with the underscore symbol. You can write up to nine verses under each note. To enter into a different verse, say verse 2, press L2. You can also paste text from an external source using Edit, Paste Lyrics. All text fonts can be changed on an individual basis as we've seen, but also on a global basis for either full score or parts. Go to Score, Full Score for example, then Fonts. Here you can change how all text items will look. You can also change whether Notion uses its standard font or the handwritten jazz font style in layout. Finally, a quick overview of chords and chord symbols. To type in a chord, click the chord icon on the palette or Shift and C. Click and then type. You can use different symbols for major, diminished, and half diminished. To enter a chord diagram, click the icon in the palette or Shift and CC. Type in the chord as before, but to enter the fret positions, open the on screen guitar fretboard. When you click on the frets here, the diagram will update. To speed up the process, you can use Notion's built in chord library. Build the chord you want, then select from the options and click it in. For previously created chords, you can select from the Recent Chords tab. Notion will automatically play back these chords if you have slash notation underneath in the staff. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.